Hello everyone, this is Tony Thompson from OfCourseOnline.com and I want you to show you a fantastic exercise to really get that length in the back of your legs and work the back extensors simultaneously without actually having to flex and extend the spine and then adding in that element of actually isolating into that thoracic spine through flexion and extension. So, you're going to have your client sitting on the ball, have the feet a little bit further away from them, obviously maintaining that really good spinal position. Arms are relaxed by your sides, and I want you to have the palms facing forward so that it encourages that open shoulder. From there, you're going to inhale, extend the legs, dig the heels in, and you can flex the feet. And as you do that, you're going to float the arms up next to the ears. Depending on how tight they feel at the back, you could ask them to lower the feet down and then flex into those feet and go into that plantar flexion and then into that dorsiflexion and then just recover to sitting up straight. It's really a nice exercise. I also love doing this with some of our pregnant clients because they actually have the space here for the belly. But don't just keep that for pregnant clients. It's such an effective exercise for us to get a release in the back of the leg and extension and work in our spine. So it's just hinging forward, flexing the feet, and then bringing it back up. And hinging forward, getting that dissociation in the hip and bringing it back up. You can then change it up where you go into that position, fully extending those knees, pressing the back of the thighs into this ball, place your hands behind your head, and this position is important. Often people open their elbows too far or they have their elbows too far forward. So there we are, two thirds up on your head. You're going to maintain that position with the legs. Inhale, curving over with the upper back, and then exhale, extending back up to that diagonal line. And then inhale, curving over with that upper back. And then exhale, extending into that diagonal line. If you see that they're coping really well, grab a kettlebell. <laughs> so I love kettlebells. Bonus, it's yellow and gray. So from there, you're now going to have them take the kettlebell in front. The closer it is to you, the easier it's going to be. So we want to hold it out slightly, but not like this. We want to pull those elbows away from us, lengthen the thoracic spine and draw that chin in. You're going to go into that same position that we were in now. We gently curve over with that spine and gently extending that spine back up and curving over with the spine and gently extending that spine back up you'll see that just the weight of that kettlebell gets that thoracic spine to work beautifully and I'm getting a stretch in the back of the legs, which is fantastic at this point. Gently bringing the knees back in and recovering to a good sitting position. What a nice exercise to incorporate into your classes to get your clients to get a little bit more stretch in the back of the legs. We like to work our clients, we like to make them stronger but what if we can do exercises that combines it all in one?